What's up? Uh, I'm gonna show you how to make a witch's facade for free. What you, what you want, what you, what you want. Now, when I say free, it's free to me uh, because I've got leftover stuff like this. Phone! Yeah! Cardboard. Cardboard? You can't use cardboard. Not yeah! cardboard! Cardboard won't hold up. So, yeah, maybe cardboard isn't the most uh, conventional way to do things, but uh, I think it can be done. As a matter of fact, I know it can be done. Um, let's fast forward into the future real quick and I'll prove it to you. Because right here, it's rained for like four days straight. We got more rain coming. It's still there. I mean, sure, there's some edges like this curling up or whatever. It's not perfect, but this is supposed to be an old rundown witch's house. So it shouldn't be perfect. So whatever, Mother Nature, do your thing. We are gonna slap some paint over all this when we're done, decrepit a little bit. And if it curls up, whatever, who cares? It was free and I'm not gonna use it again next year. It just has to make it through Halloween. So I have an idea. I'm going to try to do a witch's hut. Instead of having the proper stuff and doing something cool, we're going to try to take advantage of the things I've already got, stuff I got for free, and see if we just can't make some kind of neat little nifty uh, witch's looking hut, right? Um, out of junk and nothing. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to give it a darn good try. And the junk I'm referring to is just leftover parts of other Halloween projects that I held on to and never let go of. Like these blocks. I had these blocks forever. They've come in useful every year. I always seem to find a way to use them somewhere in the yard. Uh, it's something, right? It's gonna be a house. And we still gotta make a roof, but I'll show you a little bit closer. So these uh, styrofoam blocks have come in handy uh, year after year. I know this thing really doesn't look like a house yet, but I think I'm gonna be able to pull it off. This will be the door area. I gotta put another deal here to actually make that a door. These are windows, of course. And then I'm gonna put siding on it. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna just use cardboard. <laughs> Not cardboard! That people say you can't do. So we're gonna see if we can. So let's put some siding on this and see if it makes more sense. Dude, I get it that you want to be cheap and all on this project and do it for basically, you know, nothing, but you really think it's a smart idea to use this cardboard? Honestly, yeah, I do. I mean, with this foam being a backing for this cardboard siding and just being held and holding on with screws, I really don't see that it's going to pose a problem. And if it gets a little warped from some rain and stuff, that's fine. This is a spooky Halloween house. So we got the cardboard sidings all up. Uh, yeah, she's starting to come together pretty decent. So I have to admit, uh, hmm, I mean, it's free, not free. Like I said, this is all styrofoam stuff that I had in the past. Uh, even the wood. There's a couple two by fours down here that were on a, uh, a pallet that I got for free. That I'm taking off. I need to build another brace. So this thing doesn't want to wobble in the wind. I did spend, I spent six bucks on some spray foam. I haven't used that one yet. I had an, an older can that I reused again. Kind of tack these into place. I mean, I don't want to make this stuff permanent. That should kind of lock it in and I should be able to bust it off after Halloween and be pretty decent. And to help stiffen things up a little bit more, I used that scrap wood to create a center brace to help hold this thing in place. Okay, you cheap bastard. I mean, you're so cheap that you cut out a whole freaking segue into what's going on. I mean, one minute you're working on foam out front showing that, and the next minute you're back here cutting little pieces of wood. What the heck is going on? Well, the house needed a roof, and so I took these old one I had laying around and started putting them together to make something that might look like a roof. Well, I have something that kind of looks like a roof. I mean, some portion of a roof type thing. <laughs> Well, let's go see if it fits and uh, see if I can figure out how to strap it into place. Yeah, that might be a good thing. Uh, keep it on the roof. Yeah. I 
Okay, well, um, we have that roof structure uh, up here. Let me show you how janky it gets when you try not to spend money. So we got our brace up there. You know, that's working out okay. And then, uh, yeah, uh, this is interesting here. Quite an awesome bit of ingenuity. <laughs> but it does get an attachment point to there and there. So it holds that on. It's not going to fall off. This, of course, is screwed onto here to keep, you know, wind blowing that direction. And then on the corners here, I actually unscrewed that so I could pull, spread them out and pull them down around the foam and then screwed back together so it kind of clamped onto it. <laughs> so hopefully all that's going to be strong enough to not let the roof blow off this thing through Halloween season. Dude! Let me tell you something, if they ever did an American jerry-rigging competition, you'd be in the top 10 qualifiers, I swear. You know what? If it works, it works. That's all that matters. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't I just see you use a drill with a long bit and you're drilling into the foam? Yep, you're correct. You saw that right. <laughs> Basically, I drill a small hole into the foam, and then it allows me to use these pieces of PVC that I can use them like nails, right? And just drive them through the foam into the other piece of foam and it seems to hold it together pretty good. I mean, I've done it for the past 10 years and this stuff's always stayed together. <laughs> Homemade plastic PVC nails. You know, I retract my earlier statement. Not the top 10 jerry riggers in the United States. You take number one, hands down, number one, American's best jerry rigger. <laughs> I swear. Okay, so I know I said that uh, this was gonna be free. And maybe it's close to free. Well, it's not like that. It's, it's not free, it's close to being free. I need to put some paint on this thing. Uh, I've got some other paints in the garage that I'm gonna use, so they're left over, no money. But I did go buy some spray paint, so I'm not gonna go crazy, crazy with the details. But we're at least gonna slap some paint on it so it halfway matches over here jerry rigging i mean i guess that's one way you could call it but i call it being resourceful just like using spray paint to attack this house don't i'm not gonna go crazy with it i'm just gonna haphazardly trace stuff along this house to kind of fill in some lines and after that i'm gonna lightly go back and just blow some spray paint lightly just kind of hit it here and there to kind of fill in the centers and call it good i mean do you need anything more than that for some cardboard, a can of what? Spray paint, um, some old pieces of foam and stuff. She's looking pretty good, pretty happy with the way this thing's turning out. The trim around the door here, that type of stuff, that's where I got that spray paint over that uh, trim and turned to black. I'm just gonna hit that real quick. I'm gonna dry brush white on there, kind of separate the trim from the rest of it, and I don't think I'm gonna go any crazier than that. It's pretty much gonna be it. I'm gonna call this thing good. There it is, a witch's house facade thing made out of scrap foam, some cardboard, a can of black spray paint, some leftover paint, and let me tell you, that paint that I use pull out of the garage, that stuff, <laughs> rough shape yeah even the red that i put on the door uh yeah anyway used old paint cardboard foam blocks i did buy some other wood but slapping together with stuff that you got around the house i mean yeah most people don't have blocks like this laying around so it could be a little hard to pull something like this off but the biggest thing i'm trying to say is if you're resourceful enough maybe you could go around and find some of that styrofoam at I don't know, different places like uh, Tractor Supply or whatever, or maybe there's some place you live by a lake and maybe they've got old foam for docks or something that maybe they're willing to give away. I don't know. But if you're resourceful enough, you don't really have to spend a whole lot of money doing this. Am I gonna get to use this thing again next year? No, then this is gonna come apart. I built it on a whim, so this is only gonna exist one year cardboard is that do i really recommend it not really but all we just fingers crossed all we did it only has to make it to halloween and get through halloween night so now that i got this thing finished up it's full bore 
Halloween build out here in the yard. We got things to get up. We got fences. We got props. We got all kinds of junk to get. And if you want to see the progress and how the yard comes together, well, then you're just going to have to tune in next week and see what we get done. But until next time, keep making something from us. Hang on, wait, there's one more thing. I did go back and I bought some more lumber so I could do some more uh, bracing back here because they're talking about before Halloween hits, there should be, there's supposed to be a couple pretty good uh, thunderstorms rolling through and I really didn't want this thing blowing over. So trying to brace up something like this where everything's kind of all foam and you don't really have things to screw into structurally presents a bit of a challenge to make things secure. I drilled through the 2x4 here at an angle coming down like pretty, a pretty good severe angle. And then this uh, piece of rebar is actually like almost three foot long. So I drilled down into the foam and then I hammered the rest of the way. So this rebar is probably, you know, way down in here somewhere at an angle. So with this being set up the wind pushes this way of course we got a good brace on all this stuff and if the wind pushes back this way it's got a little movement and then the rebar should catch it and then that should hold that from falling over we put this 12 foot piece of two by four in here and anchored it at the top and then another one of those uh just like this one here over on that side all right so i know uh the point i was really trying to put out on this was making this for free or making this for you know really no money and no cost i spent about what was it 18 dollars or something like that in wood bought a can of spray paint that's seven or eight bucks you know so i spent basically 30 dollars in this thing 